Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss uh, what exactly systems manager and how we can manage uh, multiple EC2 instances by using systems manager. And we are going to take a sample uh, script and we are going to execute it in a Linux operating system. So then uh, we are going to install an application in a Windows operating system by using uh, systems manager. Okay, so here we have an EC2 instance. And um, so now quickly, I'm going to launch an EC2 instance, and um, you know that is going to be a brand new EC2 instance. So I I'm going to install a couple of applications, and I'm going to update uh, the OS patches by using Systems Manager without logging to that particular EC2 instance. So quickly, I'm going to launch an EC2 instance. So I'm going to take Amazon Linux 2 OS here, and I'm going to take T2 Micro. That is too sufficient here. And now, so this generally the systems manager is a service designed to manage all our infrastructure. So under management and governance, we can find systems manager. So for example, let's take a scenario where you have 100 EC2 instances and suddenly you got a, uh, you know, OS patch for all that uh, Linux instances or Windows EC2 instances. So in that case, you want to uh, update your system or else you want to install one particular service you want to install one particular package in all your ec2 instances so in that case manually log into each and every ec2 instance is not a right option so we can choose the systems manager then we have a specific feature in the systems manager called uh, run command option so without logging to these all EC2 instances, we can execute a command, we can install a, uh, you know, Ansible playbook or Chef cookbook, or we can deploy a Docker file, we can deploy a PowerShell script, we can deploy a shell script, we can uh, update any of the existing, uh, you know, CloudWatch agent or SSM agent. You can download the Windows updates and you can just scan for the updates. These are all operations we can perform by using systems manager now systems manager need to communicate with these uh, ec2 instances so how it is going to communicate so by using iam role so if you whenever you are launching your ec2 instance if you associate that appropriate uh, ssm role to your ec2 instance then the systems manager can communicate with it so for that let's navigate to iam And here, I'm in, uh, I just navigated to IAM dashboard, and here is a roles option. So we need to create a role, and we need to associate that role to our uh, launching EC2 instance. If you observe, we have only these roles. You know, now I'm going to create a role for uh, SSM, and I'm going to associate that role to my EC2 instance. So what exactly activities I'm performing in this SSM, those all, can happen on this EC2 instance and the permissions, everything is going to uh, delivered by using this associated role to our EC2 instance. All right, navigate to roles, click on create role, and I'm going to associate this role to my EC2 instance. So select EC2, then click on next. And here, what policy you want to associate to this role? So just look for SSM. So if you observe Amazon EC2 role for SSM and SSM full access, automation role. So here, if you observe in systems manager, we do have different features like, uh, you know, uh, automation. So if you want to access all these services, you can simply take this SSM full access or else you just want to use like uh, SSM for only EC2 instances, you can use this. So to keep the thing simple, I'm going to select SSM full access here. Click on Tags, Review, and here I'm going to call this as a SSM Full Access as a role name. Then click on Create Access, Create Role. Now the role got created in IAM. So now whenever I'm launching my EC2 instance and I'm going to associate that role, SSM Full Access, click on Next. And here, associating valid tags is very important whenever you are working with your uh, systems manager. For example, you have 100 EC2 instances, out of that 100, 50 is Windows instances and another 50 is Linux instances. 
and in this systems manager whenever you are performing this run command operation so some commands for windows and some commands applicable for linux operating system so how you are going to filter that so we have options like a manual selections and all so this is an option manual selection but that is a bit difficult again so we can use a specific instant tags so i'm going to give a tag name ssm demo but i'm going to use a particular tag called task is equal to ssm test or like you can give some sensible you know tags this os is linux so you can choose any of this particular tag that means combination of key and value pair then you can filter all the ec2 instances here so i'm going to use this where uh, os is equal to linux then click on next and here configure the security group and i'm going to choose an existing security group so which is open with port number 80 and uh, let's click on review and click on launch i'm going to use an existing key pair now one ec2 instance is launched and that is a linux ec2 instance so by using the systems manager i'm going to make this machine as a web server again let me quickly verify so whether port number is 80 is open or not but it is open with a particular uh, uh, you know particular ip address i'm going to modify that i'm going to make it every open for everyone so http is for anywhere you got save rules all right so now this is my ec2 instance and here is my public ip address before executing this i just want to take a minute and i want to show there is no website is delivering from this uh, ec2 instance by using systems manager i'm going to make it as a web server without logging to this ec2 instance all right now let's jump to systems manager and here in systems manager scroll down here under instances and nodes you can find run command click on run command option and here is a run command click this and these all are the run command supportable operations we can perform on our all ec2 instances so you can filter by using operating system also so i'm going to select platform type as linux and we can apply ansible playbook so you can scroll down and here just where exactly our playbook is there so generally we write that playbooks in um, uh, YAML, yet another markup language. So just browse that and uh, just get that. And uh, here is a chef recipes. So uh, if you want to deploy a chef cookbook, you can just navigate here and you can get that uh, all the information. You can browse your cookbook from your S3 bucket. Exactly same way. We can perform all these operations without logging to our EC2 instance. So you can uh, run a document, you can run patch baseline, and we do have options like a run PowerShell script to this uh, machine and run remote script, run shell script. So I'm going to run a simple shell script to my EC2 instance. So salt state and uh, how many EC2 instances you have here. Uh, for example, that SSM agent is outdated. So if you want to update, you can use this and this is supports windows as well as linux platform so now as i mentioned i'm going to choose run shell script option then scroll down and here what are the commands you want to execute so i'm going to give very simple commands so i want to make this ec2 instance as a simple web server so at moment there is no output and all so then i'm going to give shebang slash bin slash bash then first i want to update my machine with latest patches then yum install sttpd for y then i'm going to start the service service sttpd start then i'm going to make it as a logon service so then i'm going to generate a very simple index.html file and i'm going to write into the public document part so i'm just giving header one and i'm closing that header in between i'm going to call this as so this is a simple website and where do you want to create this file under var 
www.html and I'm going to give file name as index.html. Now, just scroll down. And here, if you want to give any specific working directory on our EC2 instances, you can give that particular uh, uh, path. And um, so the time uh, you want to give to execute all these commands and all, the default duration is one hour. And maximum, it can take up to only 48 hours. So now here you observe specify instances by using tags. So if we have 100 EC2 instances here, and if you want to filter all Linux instances, you can give OS as a Linux, the one we have given here, the particular tag. So how many EC2 instances have this particular tag? So those all EC2 instances will automatically come and it is going to execute with these given commands. Or else if you don't want to go with the instance tags, you can choose instances manually. I've selected this choose instance manually and here you observe how many EC2 instances you have in this region with appropriate uh, uh, SSM agent. So those all instances going to list it here. So this is my EC2 instance and instance state is in running state and ping that is online and SSM agent version is 2.3 then some 7.4.0 and black thumb is Linux. And we do have a concept called resource groups. Like uh, you can uh, you can filter all the instances by using a tag and you can create it as a resource group. Then you can get that. So let's scroll down. If you want to give any uh, comments or other parameters, you can get this. And rate control, at a time, how many EC2 instances you want to execute with this command and all. You can get that rate control. And when do you want to stop executing this task? So for example, you got uh, 10 errors or you want you got one error, you want to stop this execution process, you can give all those values here. And whatever the output we are going to get here while installing this, uh, you know, command send all, that output, if you want to store into an S3 bucket, you can get that. So choose a bucket name from this particular list. So just go here, choose an S3 bucket. And within that, do we have any particular folder and all, you can get that. Or else we can write this output to CloudWatch uh, logs also. You can, if you have any log group, you can just go there and you can pick the required log group and it is going to write that output. If you really don't require any output, you can simply uncheck this. It is not going to write any output. And when, if you want to get any notifications, you can enable SNS uh, topic and you can get notifications. And the same thing, if you want to execute by using CLI, you can use this CLI command. Now, Click on run. What are all the commands I have given there? Those all commands are going to execute in this particular EC2 instance. And uh, you can observe here, it is showing status as a success. And where that output is stored, so I have redirected that output to an S3 bucket. So, you know, it's just showing some uh, output here, but it, it got truncated uh, after 2500 characters. So let's go to Amazon S3. So then it is going to show you, uh, you know, where is that output and all. So it shows this, this particular bucket and all. So let's go to our SSM and uh, just observe the status, it is success. So as it is showing success, when I navigate here, when I give a quick refresh, I'm able to get that website. Okay. I have nowhere logged into this EC2 instance, but I have executed the uh, all the commands and those, those all commands are executed successfully and if you want to view that here is a command history select that and uh, you know how many instances are executed with this command what is the command description what are the command parameters we have given everything you can find that here so whatever the one we have generated and we asked the system manager to create under index.html that got created and it is delivering successfully so that is how exactly we can manage our Linux EC2 instances uh, by using a systems manager run command option. So in our next video, I'm going to work on Windows EC2 instance and I'm going to execute, I'm going to install a simple application in our Windows EC2 instance. Thank you guys.